So Disney's experiencing their latest mega flop, right? So the last mega flop that they had in the animated space was uh, Lightyear. Lightyear was such a mega flop, and we all saw it coming. Everybody saw it coming, except for all the wokesters on Twitter that swore that this was going to be the most stunning and brave movie that ever came out in the history of time. And they liked it, and they retweeted it, and they promised they were going to go see it. And then when it came out, nobody saw it. <laughs> That's basically the problem. Like when, when you design movies especially animated movies that are supposed to be made for kids, right? Like, that's supposed to be the target. It's supposed to be kids. At, le at least that's what I think, anyway. It's supposed to be for kids. Like, when you look at these movies, you can say, yeah, this is basically a kid's movie. This movie has, like, all the wokeness under the sun in that movie. Like, as cringe of a saying as woke is, this fucking movie is basically that, all right? This movie is a clusterfuck of wokeness, and it's completely bombing it is bombing to the point where where are all these woke people where are all these people who like the who like the trailers who retweet them who say they're so stunning and brave who love this and they're like oh this is going to be great this is amazing people can see themselves where are all these people who are looking to see themselves they should be watching this movie why are you not watching this movie this movie's bombing is bombing and you're just like what are you doing you know what i'm saying so let's get into the article guys but of course before we do guys we are in very very, very close to 10,000 subscribers, guys. I know I have 55 plus percent of people who watch me and don't subscribe. I know that's normal for YouTube, but guys, if some of you could just take the time to hit that red subscribe button, I would greatly, greatly appreciate helping me reach my goal before the end of the year. Now, let's get into the article. So it says, another Disney box office disaster. Strange World only grosses 18.6 million in opening weekend, described as massive financial flop. Strange World, the latest animated film from Walt Disney Animation Studios, bombed at the box office, only grossing $18.6 million at the domestic box office. That underperformed expectations from box office tracking website Box Office Pro. The site predicted back at the end of October that Strange World would gross between $20 and $30 million in its opening weekend. Those predictions were adjusted downward ahead of the Thanksgiving weekend to $15 to $25 million. Not only did the film fail to meet original expectations, but it recordedly has a production budget between 135 and 180 million. Deadline's Anthony D'Alessandro reported Strange World cost 135 million before PA. Meanwhile, Variety's Rebecca Rubin reported the $180 million budgeted Strange World is poised to be another money loser for Disney. That means the film has to make between 335 million and 450 million just to break even. YouTuber OMB Reviews notes the film had a flop written all over it. And it's obvious, man. Like, it, when, the, when they come out with these animated fucking movies, man, it is really, like, they're, they are seriously indoctrination movies. They are. They are. I, I, I don't... Oh God, I hate using that term, but they are. They are indoctrination movies 100%. They are not trying to tell any kind of good story that's going to stand the test of time like the original classics. I mean, the classics are classics for a reason. They're not trying to do that. They're trying to indoctrinate these kids, dude. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to indoctrinate these kids. And you know, I posted something on my on my YouTube community uh, post. If you guys didn't see it, I'll mention what it was. But basically, it was a snippet of uh, it was a picture of uh, the Pokemon manga, right? The manga series. It was I was reading Gold and Silver, and I was just reading through it again. And I looked, and there was a certain page where uh, Gold is essentially fighting an evil trainer that has yet to be revealed, right? And one of the comments that the trainer is basically saying is that he's admitting that he abducts children. He steals children, right? To then teach them the bad ways of being a trainer, to, to basically indoctrinate them into being evil trainers. And there's a line that he says where he says that if you grab the kids young and you teach them, they will basically be not only loyal, but they will be like slaves. They will do whatever you tell them to do. And when I read that line, I'm like, holy shit, this is exactly what's happening in today's world currently in multiple different avenues okay it's not just disney with animated movies okay it, it's a bunch of different avenues i'm not even gonna get into it but it, it's just that saying was just incredible to me that something like the pokemon manga series which came out a long time ago all of a sudden still is just so prevalent with what they're saying it's just absolutely insane but anyway let's continue so it says he then explains it was a film that didn't really make market all that well. 
The marketing that they did for this film wasn't really effective. I still have not seen a trailer for this film, so I still have no idea what it's about. You add on top of that the talking conversation about how they are pushing these characters, pushing LGBTQ, whatever. Again, the acronym is now I don't care, he opinion. They keep adding random things and just making things up as they go, it seems. But regardless of any of that, the film just didn't seem like it was going to do all that well. Even regardless of any of that, OMB reviews continued. Even if that wasn't part of the story, the fact that this is a film that is featuring a brand new original, somewhat original story coming out over Thanksgiving weekend against the third weekend of Black Panther, it's almost as if Disney wanted this film to do poorly. And that's true too. Look at the amount of competition, right? People aren't looking at multiple movies like that anymore. Like when, when there are major releases coming out at the same time, people are going to have their tier list of what they want to see and what they don't want to see. And a movie like this, unfortunately, when it's going against Black Panther, even though I don't really like Black Panther all that much, at least the second one anyway, it's not going to be top priority, okay? Like, this movie's not going to be top priority against Black Panther. If, people, if someone has a choice and they're only going to buy one ticket, they're going to buy Black Panther. That's just the truth. He then shared his own analysis, or rather what I personally think is the truth, is they knew this film was not going to be successful, so instead of putting it out on a weekend by itself to maybe give its best chance of at least being the number one film at the box office, they said, hey, might as well release it over Thanksgiving or most people are out of school. That way we could try and make some money off of this because ultimately it's going to be a pretty massive financial loss for the company. A little bit later, he asserted, not looking good for Disney in the long term for this movie. Looking at the film's global box office haul, OMB Reviews asserted $27.8 million worldwide out of a $180 million budget means this film is going to be a massive financial flop. He will later reiterate why he believes the film is failing. I don't think this film is failing because of it being woke. I think it's more about the marketing and the fact that Disney clearly threw this film out of the wolves, knowing that it will fail, to try and make at least some money back even though it's ultimately not going to be really worth it in the long run. And you know what? I kind of agree with that, I, honestly. It's not necessarily going to fail because of its wokeness, because we've seen that there are some movies, even if they're woke, that are still successful. They'll still make at least some money, right? But this particular movie, I think I agree with him, honestly. I think they knew that it was going to fail. I think they knew that this movie wasn't going to get any real kind of money at the end of the day. Nowhere near what their budget is, let alone nowhere near what their break-even point is, let alone nowhere near making a profit on it, right? So they know that this movie was not going to be that kind of movie. This movie is a messaging movie. That's what it is. Disney, what they do is they put out a couple bangers that they know are going to make money. Then they then they fill their pipeline with messaging movies. That's what they do. They know they're going to put out certain movies. They're going to lose money no matter what. They know that. They put that in their books. They get ready for it. But they put out other movies that they know are going to make money. So they try to balance it out to see how many messaging movies they can get out while also still making a profit. And this is, without a doubt, another messaging movie coming from Disney that is going to be a mega, mega financial flop for them. I can't wait to see what the final number is before it ultimately goes to Disney+. Plus. So Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of today's story, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.